every believer has a voice, and it's the voice of victory. My God has made a way for me. The first chapter of the book of Ephesians. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God to the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has already blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. It's already been done. Now, when you get down to the bottom line of the name, covenant, you come back to one word, blessing. The first words to ever strike a human ear. When God created the man, he spoke words of dominion, but he didn't hear those words. That's when he came alive. And he blessed him. It's the first thing any human ear ever heard. Both of these covenants and the power of the name was to get that blessing back and where we could walk and be blessed. Blessed in the spirit. Blessed in the soul, the mind, the will, the emotions, blessed in the flesh, blessed financially, blessed power over all of the works of the enemy. Hallelujah. And the power in that name. It all has to do with the blessing. The blessing, not a blessing. Some years ago, as I said uh, earlier this morning, I, in, in order to renew my, my mind on certain things, and, and I, I began to see that it's the blessing all the way from Genesis to Revelation. And so I went through and marked all the word blessing all over the, the whole Bible. And and then <laughs> I was praying about that and thinking about it. How do I renew my mind to bless? It's not just blessing, you know. Yeah. Bless you. Gesundheit, yeah. <laughs> whatever that means. Bless you, thank you. Boil down to a sneeze. And that's about how much knowledge most of us Christians had about the blessing. And I said, Lord, what, how can I do this? How can I renew my mind to this? And very quickly he responded to me. He said, Every time you use the word bless in any form, write it in all capital letters. And I I began to do that. And it really, it it really got my attention. The blessing is not just a blessing. (laughs) The blessing, empowerment to prosper. The blessing. Read it for yourself. 
What was the last thing that Jesus did? And he blessed them. What are you guys looking up there for? This same Jesus. This same, what did I read? The blessed hope of the church. Don't grieve. We have hope. Yes, we do. And we place faith in that hope. Don't tell me. They, they had that in the case there that, that, that the apostle was dealing with that somebody had come up and say, well, you know, the, the catching away has already happened and maybe we missed it. Well, he had to deal with that. And that, you know, that kind of monkey business is still going around. Oh, yeah. Ah. Amen. That's the reason we have a book. Yes, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the name, the blessing, the power, the word. I just said the same thing in three or four different terms. Yes. We're still here in the, no, no, hey. I got excited and, and dropped that. Let's go back over there to the book of Ephesians, first chapter. According as he has chosen us in him, every time you see an in him, in whom, it's, it's talking about you. We're in him. Praise in Christ. That's us. Has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise and the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure. Now, let's come. Now remember, we're talking about that high tower, that high and lofty place inside the name. Come on down to uh, 17th verse, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of his glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Okay, I receive that. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. What is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe. How many of you believe? Yes. Yes. Toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenlies far above. Yes. Far above, in a lofty place. Far above all principality. Far above all power. Far above all might and dominion. And far above every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. Yeah. Glory be to God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Far above. And we are seated with him in heavenly places. In Christ Jesus. In his name. 
<laughs> Glory to God forevermore. Far above. Far above. Well, wait a minute. No, we're not quite done yet. And has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Yes. We are in a high place and the devil and all of his works are under our feet. Yes. Yes. Because we are seated in that place, high and aloft in his name. Yes. In the name. It's a high tower. A lofty place. It would be good to close in the 91st Psalm. The soldier's song. Oh, I've marked this one up so much. <laughs> it's hard to read. He that dwelleth, he that lives in the secret place of the most high. The most high God. Oh, go ahead. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And the only way to get there is to say it. You have to say something. I can just hear Gloria now. You have to say something. Say it. I mean, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So say so. <laughs> I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. He is my fortress. He is my God. And in him, I will trust. I'm in that high place. And I live with him there. That high place above the storms. Thank you, Lord. The eagle is a marvelous bird. The 103rd Psalm is, well, let's, let's turn there quickly. The 103rd Psalm is mm, so powerful, powerful, powerful thing. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies my mouth with good things is in italics 
who satisfy my mouth with good words so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The eagle is a marvelous, marvelous bird. There are things about the eagle that I've, I've studied that bird. He has advantages that other birds do not have. His eyesight is magnificent. Particularly the bald eagle. And he, he can, he can, his, his lungs are such that he can go to great altitudes and he never runs away from a storm. Oh, I love it. I tell you, he never runs away from a storm. I do. When I fly, I am all business. And you, when of course we have radar and all of these wonderful things, but I don't want the, the, the books say that stay at least 25 miles away. Well, absolutely, at least 25 miles away from that cell. But the eagle didn't read that book. <laughs> he sees that storm coming. He has the ability to lock the wing roots at a climb angle. So he begins to climb and Phil, you'll enjoy this as long as you've been flying airplanes. He, he, he climbs and, he, and but he, he, he begins to head towards that storm and he locks those big old wings in a climb angle and he faces the storm and the updrafts from that storm hit him that go in front of the storm. What you and I see with our eyes, there's all kinds of things going on out in front of that, that you can't see. The updrafts and the downdrafts, and he just locks on. And those updrafts, <laughs> and he gets out of the storm. And he unlocks, and he just soars above that storm. And he just flies and looks at that storm. The storm goes by. And he just goes home. <laughs> and before too long, we're going to be out of here. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But until then, we are eagles. Amen. We're God's eagles. Yes. 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 The 40th chapter of the book of Isaiah, 39 and 40. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and rise up as eagles. And they run and not weary and they walk and they don't faint. The name, the name, stand with me, please. The greatness of his name, the power of his name. And we, we, we just touched little pieces of it tonight but we're going to talk about this and, and walk in this 
And in this way, then, then we begin to understand the fourth chapter of Romans. We begin to understand that we're, we're according to it is written. Abraham called things that be not as though they were. According as it is written, he did it. How? Because his name had been associated with the name of the Most High God. And it's his faith that opened the door for us. His faith opened the door for us. Jesus, having been made a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone that hangs upon a tree so that the blessing of Abraham might come on all the rest of us that we might receive what the Spirit promised if we receive it by faith. And that's why I preach on faith all the time. Hallelujah. Come experience divine healing, health, prosperity, and recovery at the 2021 Omaha Live Victory Campaign, October 28th through the 30th. Glory to God, that's where the glory is gonna fall next year, is in the local churches that are preaching and teaching and healing and going strong with the word of faith. Join Kenneth Copeland and Jerry Savelle, October 28th through the 30th. Admission is free. Register today at kcm.org slash Omaha. Whether you've remained constant and confident in the face of what is happening in the world in your life, or have felt the pressure of fear try to take control of your thoughts and conversations, understanding and emphasizing the authority we have through the name of Jesus and how to use His name changes everything. In the Power of the Name package, Kenneth Copeland teaches on the foundational scriptures and revelation that taught him to use the name of Jesus since the beginning of his ministry in 1967. Included is a six-message audio series titled, Jesus, the Name Above Every Name, with a companion study guide of topical overviews, outlines, questions, and space to take notes as you listen to the teachings. As part of the family of God, you have the right to use the name of Jesus and all the power that is behind it to change habits, mindset, and the physical world around you. With the power of God released in your life through speaking the name of Jesus, your life will be transformed. There is a name that is above every other name. Request your free copy of The Power of the Name of Jesus Package, an MP3 series with study guide from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. As a member of the family of God, you have the right and authority to use that name and walk out your victory. Go to kcm.org slash TV special or call 800-600-7395. Offer good for 60 days. If you're outside the U.S., shipping charges may apply. Contact your regional office for more information. When you know Jesus as your Lord, you have access to His name and it's a name that's above every other name and there's nothing greater than His name. So when storms of life just seem like they're surrounding you on every side and they're pressing in on you, you have a strong tower to run to that is high. It's a protected place and you get there by receiving Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior. And I know many people watching this broadcast right now, you're born again, full of the Holy Spirit. And I praise God for that. But if there's anybody watching this right now and you've never made Jesus the Lord of your life, then today... Today is the day of your salvation. You're going, well, how do I do that? Just pray this prayer out loud after me. Just say, Father in heaven, I come to you in Jesus name and I repent. I repent of all my sin and I receive your forgiveness. I believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead. I confess with my mouth, Jesus, you are Lord. You are my Lord. Take my life, do something with it, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Now listen, I know it's a simple prayer, but if you prayed that prayer right now today, you are a part of God's family and he has given you the right to use the name of Jesus. And in that name, you have access to God's power. You have access to God's grace. And this is an exciting time for you. And that's why Kenneth Copeland Ministries has put together some free resources to help you grow, to help you understand more about who you are right now in Jesus and who he is in you. This is called the Salvation Package. In this package, we're going to send you a book by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland called He Did It All For You. And along with this book, we're going to send you a couple of little brochures that are here to help you learn how to read and how to study your Bible. And all you have to do is let us know you want it. It's free. Just request it today on kcm.org. And while you're on the website, you can learn more about what we've been talking about on these broadcasts. Learn more about the name of Jesus. Learn more about faith in the name of Jesus. Learn more about how to use the name of Jesus. All these free videos and these teaching articles that are available to you at kcm.org, they're there for free. So dig in, find out who Jesus is in you, find out who you are in him and renew your mind every day to the word of God. Feed your spirit with the truth. And as you learn to use the name of Jesus, God's power in you will lift you far above the circumstances to that place of victory that you were born to live in, in Jesus' name. Thanks so much for tuning into this broadcast today, everybody. Be sure to join us again soon. Until then, remember, God loves you. We love you. And Jesus is Lord. God has a good plan for your life. If you receive Jesus as Lord and Savior today, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland have a gift for you. To request your salvation package free, go to kcm.org salvation. Discover who you are in Christ and how to live in victory. Continue to grow in your faith in God and live in the wisdom of His Word. 2021 is the year of the local church, a year of divine healing, divine health, divine prosperity, and divine recovery. Take the word of faith wherever you go with the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine. Since 1973, KCM has delivered the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine worldwide. We're reaching nearly 400,000 people in 202 countries and territories on five continents, all absolutely free. Every magazine contains faith-building articles from Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and other guest authors. Read encouraging stories from people like you in testimonies of real life victory. Equip your kids with powerful tools for spiritual growth in Commander Kelly's Corner. With a variety of viewing formats available, sharing is easier than ever. Download a digital copy for your tablet or mobile device. Click on the interactive magazine option where you'll find bonus content, videos, and downloads. Sign up for your free monthly subscription or download your copy today at kcm.org. Welcome to kcm.org, your study center for victory. Get real help for real life problems. Select a topic for answers straight from the Bible. Then believe, speak, pray, learn, and apply what you've heard and read to experience real change in your situation. Each step provides pages of articles, video teachings, topical scripture lists, and recorded prayers and confessions from the Copelands. KCM.org has made it simple to tap into God's wisdom for real help in your life. KCM.org meets you where you are.